Welcome to your journey towards a healthier, stronger you. Get ready to sweat, push your limits, and transform your body with our dynamic fitness video. In this video, I'll delve into answering this question. So make sure to stick around till the end. It's going to be intriguing. There is one thing that 98% of people do every day that completely destroys their testosterone levels. In fact, this one thing is so common that it has been the cause of a 20% testosterone dip on a test group of 100 men. Today, I'm going to show you how something as prevalent as stress can cause significant harm to your testosterone levels and what you can do to lower your stress as quickly as possible, thus improving your overall testosterone levels. Stress is a natural reaction to countless life experiences. But just because it's a universal thing experienced by practically everyone doesn't mean it's something you should just ignore. Especially not if you're a male whose health and wellness are heavily reliant on the hormone testosterone. Many men are plagued with low T levels, and stress is one of the top factors that contribute to this condition. How is poor sleep linked with stress? And in turn, testosterone. Is having high blood sugar also a bad thing for testosterone? Stay tuned until the end, and I'll give you some tips on how I manage and reduce stress. Without further ado, here are the top three side effects of stress and how each of them plays a role in destroying your testosterone. Let's start with number one, poor sleep. Sleep is one of the essential things that the human body needs to function properly. This only explains how humans can survive longer without food than without sleep, and stress can mess up your quality of sleep and sleep pattern big time. In fact, prolonged stress is intense enough to alter the sleep-wake cycle by directly influencing your internal body clock. It then affects hormone production, leading to hormonal imbalance in both males and females. In males, sleep issues due to stress lower testosterone synthesis, which in turn impacts both physical and mental health. A study conducted in 2011 shows how men with only 5 hours of sleep for one week drop their testosterone levels to 10 to 15 percent. The figure is too significant to ignore, especially when you compare it to natural aging, which reduces T levels only by just 1 to 2 percent annually. Moreover, Lack of sleep or poor sleep quality can lead to bigger health issues like anxiety, depression, cardiac problems, low metabolism, and more. At the same time, irregular testosterone levels may be associated with sleeping problems like insomnia and sleep apnea. If you think there's nothing worse than poor sleep, then wait until you learn how high blood sugar levels are connected with low testosterone, but more on that coming up soon. Number two weight gain. Like other health conditions, chronic stress leads to a gain in body weight. Cortisol, the stress hormone, stimulates fat and carbohydrate metabolism, causing an energy surge in the body. This causes an increase in your appetite. Additionally, elevated cortisol levels can lead to cravings for sweet, fatty, and salty foods, meaning you're more likely to indulge in a milkshake and potato chips than you are a well-balanced meal. This only leads to fat accumulation in the body. Stress affects testosterone health in men, and when there is a low T level, it gives rise to digestive issues, ultimately resulting in fatigue and fat accumulation. Number three, elevated blood sugar level. Fact the stress hormone cortisol elevates the sugar levels in the blood, whether you're physically or mentally stressed. Either way, your body releases cortisol and adrenaline, two hormones that are responsible for increasing the sugar levels in the body. This is a natural reaction and usually results in a faster heartbeat and higher blood pressure. However, if the stress levels remain persistently high for a longer period, that's when things could easily go south and complications arise. One of the most common symptoms of prolonged stress is high sugar level, which translates to increased insulin resistance. The dreaded result is type 2 diabetes. High blood sugar levels affect testosterone production and increase the risk of headaches, fat gain, and heart-related diseases, among others. Chronic stress as a testosterone killer. Chronic stress happens when there is a surplus of cortisol production brought on by prolonged stress. As such, 
the testosterone production in the body declines, which can then be a factor in bigger problems like male infertility. Generally speaking, chronic stress is likely to lower your testosterone levels. Firstly, just like how a hypothalamic pituitary adrenal cortical HPA is used to regulate stress hormones, there's also one called the hypothalamic pituitary gonadal HPG axis to regulate sex hormones. Both HPA and HPG axes are controlled at the top end by the hypothalamus and pituitary gland. Because of this, consistently high cortisol can stifle the HPG axis, too, stopping the testosterone release. Secondly, cortisol is thought to reduce testosterone production directly by acting on the LIDC cells, which are found in the testes. Thirdly, chronic stress is more likely to lead to unhealthy habits like comfort eating, alcohol consumption, smoking, or exercising less. These damaging coping mechanisms can further lead to conditions like obesity, diabetes, and mental health problems, all of which are linked to lower T levels. In conclusion, high levels of stress for a longer period can trigger several health problems. Acute stress as a temporary testosterone booster, it's important to note that acute stress may not affect testosterone the same way chronic stress does. In fact, some short-term stressors, like exam stress, may temporarily increase the T level to a certain degree. One reason is that acute stress causes the testis sensitivity to hormones like luteinizing hormone LH, a hormone that triggers testosterone production. Another example is exercise. It's a form of physical stress, yet exercise in general has been proven to benefit testosterone production. In particular, resistance training has been shown to boost T levels both in the short and long run. More about exercise and its positive effect on testosterone next, now that you know the repercussions of chronic stress, it's time you learn how to deal with it. To those who've stayed with me until this point in the video, here are the tips I promised when it comes to overcoming stress. Most effective methods to combat stress method, one exercise regularly. Having an active lifestyle is one of the best ways to alleviate stress. Regular physical activity can improve your sleep, and better sleep means less stress. There's not a clear scientific explanation, but people who are more active get better deep sleep, a time when the brain and body feel the most revived. I like going on a run outside because it gives me a good dose of sun, which I think also helps in managing my stress. More importantly, Maintaining an active lifestyle has been proven to boost testosterone synthesis, which in turn improves mood and increases energy. What about you? How do you like to keep yourself active? Let me know in the comments below. Method 2. Follow a well-balanced diet. It isn't just your waistline that gets the benefits of eating a nutritious, well-balanced diet. This extends to your mental health as well. Not only can a healthy diet strengthen your immune system, elevate your mood, and lower your blood pressure, but it can also alleviate the effects of stress. Go for lean proteins, complex carbohydrates, and fatty acids from eggs, fish, meat, and nuts. Antioxidant-rich foods are also great antioxidants work to safeguard cells against damage caused by chronic stress. Many foods like berries, fruits, vegetables, and spices are high in antioxidants. As much as possible, pick whole foods and stay away from processed ones. Speaking of a healthy diet, you should know that there are natural, healthy ways to increase your testosterone. Specifically, some foods are associated with high T levels because of their unique profiles, but more on that in a minute. Method 3. Sleep Well one common negative outcome of stress is the difficulty falling asleep. If you're experiencing this thrice a week for three months or so, then you're likely suffering from insomnia. Lack of sleep increases the release of cortisol, making you physically and mentally stressed. So to reduce your stress levels and help preserve and increase your testosterone, it's vital to take good care of your sleep quality. For adults, the daily recommended amount of sleep is between seven to nine hours. Additionally, it's during sleep that testosterone production is at its peak, so a good night's sleep will only do you good. 
Besides those first three methods, another excellent way of managing your high stress is to method four. Practice relaxation techniques. Relaxation goes beyond peace of mind or having a hobby. More than that, it's a process that reduces the stress effects on your mind and body. Relaxation techniques may not be your top priority when you're saddled with responsibilities already. However, learning a relaxation technique or two would make a big impact on your life. They're easy to and often free, highly versatile, and have little to no risk. Meditation This method has been around for several centuries, and a good reason. Meditation works wonders for many and offers a plethora of benefits, from lowering stress, anxiety, and pain, to improving energy levels, mood, and sleep. To practice meditation, you need four things. Number one, a quiet place. Number two, a comfortable position, whether lying or sitting down. Number three, an object or word or a phrase to focus your attention on. And number four, free-flowing thoughts without judgment. Yoga comes in many types, but the ones that are best for lowering stress are those that involve stretching, slow movement, and deep breathing. Injuries can happen when you do yoga incorrectly, so it's better to start with a group class or hire a private instructor. At the very least, you should follow video instructions if you insist on doing it alone. If you want something quicker than yoga, but is still effective at calming your nerves, try deep breathing. For this relaxation technique, you must use your body's natural relaxing ability to achieve a state of deep breath. Deep breathing sends more oxygen to the brain and relaxes the part of the nervous system that's tasked with the ability to relax. What I do is to get comfortable, close my eyes, and put one hand on my stomach while the other on the chest. You just need to take a deep breath through your nose. Your stomach should be rising more than your chest. Lastly, exhale through your nose and focus on the way your body relaxes. Then repeat. Connecting with people, if you have a friend or family member who's close to you, talk to them and let out your worries and anxieties. This calms you because the body releases a hormone that interrupts its fight-or-flight response. Whenever you connect with people in person, your stress tones down and your body relaxes as you let go of some of your burdens. Laugh Therapy It's true when they say laughter is the best medicine. When you laugh, your body takes in more oxygen. As such, your heart, lungs, and muscles get an instant boost and feel-good hormones are released. In short, laughter reduces stress, enhances the immune system, and improves mood for long periods. Most times, you just can't avoid getting stressed. Even the little things like traffic and bad weather conditions can set you off rather than avoiding stress altogether, because more often than not, it's impossible to do so. It's wiser to know how to cope with it, hence the tips I gave you. But other than those techniques, there's one more thing you should know that will be of huge help to you, and that is how to boost your tea levels naturally. Sharing your experiences makes for an exciting read. Also, don't forget to explore more videos on my channel. Links are right on the screen. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to share it, hit the like button, and subscribe. Catch you soon.